good afternoon from the Nürburgring. Um, actually an afternoon starting vlog this time, that is because I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning driving from the UK over here. I am here in the mighty Elise uh, for a couple of TF days and I've turned it into a bit of a sort of Euro European road trip again. Um, I'm working over in Spa at um, a track day with the Once Race team, we've got a race there end of July so we're uh, getting some testing mileage in. Uh, and in the meantime, as the Spa and the Ring are so close together, me and Elise have made an appearance again. Um, however, what has not made an appearance is the weather that we had last time I was here uh, back in October last year. How is weather home for a track day? <laughs> Instead, now we have lots of fog. Um, going through Brussels, going through uh, France, all beautiful weather, probably 20 degrees, blue sky, etc. And then obviously when you arrive at the Ring, uh, the fog and rain sets in, so uh, it's probably not a bad thing to get some um, TF laps in in the, in the wet though, because I've never driven the track in the wet and I heard it's lethal. So uh, this is a good place to, pr a good time to practice um, in a non-pressure environment, uh, considering the race schedule we have later this year. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you over through the TF for a couple of days uh, here to this evening, which is Monday evening. So hopefully it should be nice and quiet as well and then uh, Tuesday evening as, uh, as well, and then we're back to the, uh, back to Spa, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'll take you along for the whole journey, uh, all the way back to England again. So um, we're gonna go get some lap tickets now, and then uh, check into my hotel, and then the track will be open in about an hour and a half, so we'll jump on it then. Right then, Nemo's all plugged in, and we're ready to go. The conditions have not got any better, unfortunately. So uh, I think it's gonna be a test session this afternoon, just playing around. Wet lines, uh, water lines, uh, practice dips left, way back last in the summer. We spoke about that wet lines. So, yeah, let's uh, jump to a very wet North Side TF session. Uh, hopefully, a very heavy Good start, track closed. Not Massively surprised in these weather, anyways, but it's six o'clock, so there's an hour and a half left, so we'll go get some food in the Devil's Diner and then uh, hang around and see the track opens and then jump out then. I'm not sure if the track's going to reopen this rate. Right. It'd be better with a speed boat. Well, from the empty car park you can see behind me, that is that. Uh, yeah, TF session got rained off. Uh, we all waited in the Devil's Diner for about an hour or so and uh, yeah, ran out of time. Still coming down pretty damn heavy, I mean, there's rivers and everything uh, across the circuit, it looks like glass behind me. And I bet there's probably as much grip as glass out there, so to be fair, it's probably the right thing to do, but just a bugger to have obviously travelled all the way over here for this and uh, for it to be rained off. But I suppose that is the weather of the Eiffel Mountains, so yeah, we're going to jump back in the beast now and um, yeah, Ugh. and head back to the hotel. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have an early night tonight, having had very little sleep last night and a long, long day travelling over for this. Um, a pretty relaxed evening is on the cards. So, yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow uh, for the hotel. Um, definitely want to talk to you about that. It's a nice little place. Um, and then, yeah, the plan for tomorrow: a bit of TF session in the um, evening and then hot tailing over to Spa to meet the Once Race boys to go testing for another couple of days. So the weather should be getting better um, throughout the week over here in this part of the world. So as long as we get two good days testing in, that'd be good. Um, so yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. <clears throat> and good morning to my b, &B in at the Nervo Ring. So we're staying at the Sonnenvern, which is about 1.2 miles from the Ring Boulevard itself. Um, and yeah, just quick sh show you around you. Lovely, cheapest um, b, b I could find uh, on booking.com. And it's everything you need just for a quick TF ring trip, single bed, toilet, shared shower. Uh, and yeah, super close to the ring. Breakfast is really nice, uh, which I had this morning. Just uh, checking out now all my kits um, together here. Uh, the host have very kindly let me dump my stuff here for the day whilst I go to TF later on this evening and uh, then come and pick up the rest of my stuff and then head over to Spa. So yeah, thoroughly recommended, make sure you check it out uh, and yeah, book yourself in here. Great, 
And it's just starting to rain some more. So I'm hoping it's actually settled on the ground a bit more. So it's going to be a little bit sketchier than it was about 15 minutes ago. But we'll just take this first out, get some heat in the tyres, and uh, go from there, really. So tag along for the ride. completed. A uh, quick toilet break for me, quick rest stop for the car, reset the pressures as they'd actually generate some proper tyre temp so uh, the pressures were up about 6 or 7 psi. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get as many laps in before it's due to rain again basically. So quick turn around and back straight out on track. Right then, here's a prime opportunity to try and chase down the rim taxi. Uh, I'm under no impression that I'm going to stay with it, but I just wanted to go out behind someone that actually knew what they were doing. Now let's see if we can uh, keep up a little bit. And that is TF for the evening done. And um, yeah, met up with Matt and his uh, and Brett's mate. So we took them around for a couple of blasts in the uh, final two laps of the day. Did want to go for another couple of laps, just times wise and things like that. But it's probably a good thing because it slowed me down and made sure me, the car, came back in one piece. And I can go to work for the next couple of days. So, okay, so now I'm gonna head straight back to the hotel. Um, the hosts have been very lenient and let me leave all my kit there, pick it all up, jump on the road, get to spa, ready for some coaching tomorrow. Let's go! And this is how you pack a Lotus Elise for a ring trip. Here's my suitcase, backpack and then down there is my helmet in the footwell. So it's making use of the lack of passenger. The boot is actually very empty but very small so none of that really fits in it. So, uh, yeah. Now leaving at Spa, it's 8 o'clock, so I should be there by half nine, which is still a re relatively reasonable hour. And um, yeah, then on track tomorrow morning. Can't wait, let's go! There she is, a rouge! And here we are, long time no speak. <laughs> 